Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I am using all drugstore products. If you guys want to know how I did this look, just make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Just want to let you guys know that I will be filming a video with my mom soon. I'm not sure exactly what we will be filming, but if you guys have any requests, just let me know or something. I don't know. So yeah, just stay tuned you guys. Thank you guys for the love. I appreciate you guys all and just keep showing love. Thank you. To start off, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer and I'm applying it with a Morphe brush and I'm just going to be adding it all over to my face. Next up, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 122 Creamy Beige and I'm going to be applying the foundation on over my face, of course, and I'm going to be Blending it with my beauty blender from Real Techniques. And just dab 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 all over the face. Dab 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 Okay, so next up I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. concealer. And applying it under my eyes but I honestly didn't like it I thought it was a little bit too liquidy so I went in with my fit me concealer by Maybelline in the shade light So to set my foundation, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder in the shade A22E Neutral Buff. And I'm applying the powder with my Equal Tools brush. So that was a quick little break, now I'm dusting off the air spun with the BH Cosmetics brush and I'm going to be going in with the bronzer next and this bronzer is from Wet n Wild and the shade is 740, oops, 740, what the heck is 740, 740 Bikini Contest and I'm applying the bronzer onto my cheekbones and this brush that I'm using is a Real Techniques brush um let's see what number this is oops i just dropped something this is oh it's a multi-task brush i love this brush and for the eyeshadow i'm gonna be using the wet and wild eyeshadow palette and this is called bare necessities 753a and i'm going in with the first shade using the wet and wild brush and i'm gonna be adding that shadow onto my crease and just blending it all over pretty much Next up, I'm going to be using an e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold. And I'm just going to be applying this eyeshadow onto the lid of my eyes.
Versace on the oh we're back uh just to add a little bit more shimmer onto the lid I'm gonna be going in with that shade that you just saw me tap on from the wet and wild palette and just applying it onto the lid you guys that's all you gotta do that's all that's all oh 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 um and I think I went back with that eyeshadow with the brown brown one and I just give it a little bit more darker look or darker effect whatever whatever I'm just going in with an equal tools brush and just adding it onto the crease you guys and just blending it so I'm gonna be adding this shadow right there onto the brow bone and I believe I am using a Morphe brush that I got with the set and I'm gonna be applying it onto the inner corner of my eyes as well Next up, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in the shade 316B. And I'm going to be adding this shade onto the apples on my cheeks. And my sisters are laughing at me because I messed up saying blush. And I'm going to be using the highlighting powder from Wet n Wild. And this is uh, Precious Petals. And I'm applying it with a brush that I got from Ipsy Bag a long time ago. And I believe it's from Crown Brush. So I felt like this look needed a little bit something else so I am using the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and I'm using the glitter part which is a 100 Topaz Twinkle and I'm just applying this onto the crease of my eyes. Yeah. Just adore you all of the time. I like to.